welcome to another episode of Field Day Fun. I am your host, Drew Burris, bringing you along for the ride, and I've got some of my Field Day friends here to help you. Today, I've got a very special guest. Will you please welcome Mr. Jared Prince? Jared, how are you? Good, how are you? I am, I am good. I am glad that you are on with me tonight so we can talk a little bit about Field Day Fun. So whenever you're ready, we'll get started. Yeah, I, my name is Jared Prince, like you said. I am from Clinton, Iowa. I was honored to be selected as a teacher of the year for the state of Iowa this year. So that's been uh, quite the celebration to have with my students and staff and something that I really appreciate being able to just say that I can represent the state of Iowa this year. And that's one of the many ups and downs of this year. This year has been kind of crazy for me. Yeah. I was just like, I tore my ACL this summer, had to get surgery, couldn't start the school year. And then coming into the school year, I had my fourth child. Oh, okay. So finally some consistent grounding as we got past the new year. And it's been gotcha. good then. But just a lot of missed school kind of hurt the um, environment we've been having in Jefferson Elementary School where I work at. And, gotcha. Um, but now it's good. We're, we're, do, we're on solid footing Gotcha. So what we do here is we do a little bit of kind of asking you a little bit. So what we do five fun facts. So we'll start with five. You already kind of mentioned who you are and what do you teach? What are the levels that you teach at? Oh yeah. I teach K-5. So I also have transitional kindergarten, which is like in between, um, not quite ready for kindergarten, but some of them are, they're great kids. Okay. They're almost there. Gotcha. So TK to five is what, what I teach. And then I coach middle school football and help out with the high school track. So, right. That's cool. So you're like everywhere basically yeah. in there. That's good though. It's awesome to do, man. Awesome. See the growth in the kids and keep, keep up with how they're doing and everything. So that's gotcha. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's go to our uh, number four for our five fun facts. So, you know, last year we were, you know, kind of still a little bit in the pandemic. We had different platforms going on. We had people uh, in session with students. Some were virtual and some were hybrid. So can you tell me, I know you kind of briefly talked a little bit about it, but can you tell me how, how has this year been for you? So, yeah, I started, I tore my ACL. I had uh -huh. surgery, missed the first four weeks of the school year. Sub did a great job. Can't complain about that. It's just when you're not there, it's just a little. Yeah, bit I know. Yeah. Uh, coming back after that, um, try to get things going. And then all of a sudden we have our child in October. Blessed fourth child. Um, honored to be in, a father again. So that's, I'm not something I complain about, but then I was gone for another week and a half. And, right. Um, we're Since New Year has begun, we've started revisiting skills and students are doing a great job and we're getting that environment we've been establishing the last few years. So all in all, it's been a great year. I started um, our district wellness program, which is oh, okay. getting that off the ground. And um, it's the first time we offered uh, like a wellness program for our staff. So I'm the wellness coordinator just assigned this year and trying to get that off the ground. And it's been eye opening to see how you yeah. go about doing that and, trying to juggle in both jobs at the same time. It's, gotcha. Well, that's awesome, though. That's cool. Yeah. Keeps you busy, though, I'd say. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go to our number three for our fun, uh, feel, uh, our fun facts here. What was last year's field day like for you? You know, you know, some people did not have uh, an in-person field day. Maybe they still did another virtual one um, with everything going on, but Tell me a little bit, what was the landscape like in your area? So yeah, COVID was still a thing. Um, not that it's not now, but uh -huh. just in the state of Iowa, it always felt like we were kind of relaxed about it. And it, I think in March or April, they finally lifted the mask mandate. So you didn't have to wear a mask anymore. And I, it was almost a sigh of relief for everybody in the building. Everyone right. was off. We didn't have any outbreaks or anything because of it. And then field day was just right there, you know, like um, here at Jefferson, we really build field day up starting in March. And um, we always have a theme for the field day. And nice. 
Um, we always we always have T-shirts that students can buy, and we have decorations all over, and we really make it a big deal because students love it. And mm -hmm. um, we were gonna do this field day theme the year prior, but we ended up doing a virtual field day. So our field day theme, as was yours, was Disney, and it was an awesome event. We actually used some of the stations. You had your field day a week prior to ours, mm -hmm. so we. I already knew what kind of the things you were doing. So I uh. <laughs> your events, also had some of my events. Students loved Elsa's um, Elsa station that you came up with. And that was a real joy. Oh, yeah. Some. We took like blue tarp and we put yeah. soap all over it. And they had to yeah, go was, through it without falling. Yeah. Right. That was a good one. Um, I just think the whole thematic pro approach to field day really gets students excited about what's going on. Right. So, right. We'll bring a special guest on with you. Here's our daughter Haven. The <laughs> uh, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. In my, I mean, everybody's got their own opinions on it with the themes. I know I've went to conferences and presented, and people said they don't like them and their students. But I think you know, with the lower students for like like kindergarten through second or third, I mean, they they like that. I always try to pick a theme that relates kind of to what's going on, and they know of it, and it. I don't know. It is. It kind of spices it up a little bit. I'd almost say it makes it more enjoyable for myself. It's very. It's very true. Yes, it's very true. I kind of. I get more excited about field day. If I did the same thing every year, mm -hmm. it'd just be like almost a burden. Like oh, field day. Right. Good. Yeah. Something different every year and building up and having reveal videos for the next year. Like ah, you and my students love it. Like the first couple of years, I got. I didn't do themes. And students would be like, oh, they didn't even know field day's coming. But now mm -hmm. they're like, wow, I know field day's coming and I can't wait for it. Right. Being able to like decorate the whole school. They come to uh, Disney characters all over the wall. And yep. then they come outside and see all these stations d designed to like and made PVC pipe uh, with um, elastic bands going all is Rapunzel's hair. It was tangled all over it. And <laughs> loved it. They ate it up. I, yeah. I can imagine not things. As you, you just got to make it fun for students. I mean, that's that's really what it's all about. Yeah, um, yeah. We our Disney one last year. It was, I mean, it was my first time because I had switched schools with them as an in person. Because yeah, like you said, the year before they did an at home one, so they their minds were blown when they first seen what I was able to do. So yeah, so I was like, well, you just got more in store, so just be prepared. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Let's go to uh, number two. Okay, so we talked about last year's field day. Tell me what you've got in store for this year's field day, if you don't mind. Yes. So, like I said, my year has been crazy, like juggling four kids on the weekends and trying to do a new new position with the wellness coordinator. It's been crazy, but it's still field day. It's mm -hmm. Field day season. And you we feel it. Do it. And everybody's buzzing, asking about it. And we're actually doing a arcade themed field day. Nice. So we have um, our shirts are going to be orange with it says arcade field day, and then has like the arcade has like Pac Man logos on it, and it's a really cool shirt. I'll have to show you the designs. I'll try to share that with you. But um, we'll do. St I bought a tarp. Well, it's more like a parachute that has holes in it that we're going to use for whack a mole. So we have a. Oh, okay. Kids going to be in the middle trying to let other kids' heads pop out of the hole. They're just going to whack them. We have ski ball. We have um, Donkey Kong. We have nice. all these different arcade. It's easy. When you do a theme, just think of like what your theme is. Put that search in Twitter. You're going to mm -hmm. find a bunch of activities themed off that that you could use as stations. Real easy. Yep. And the students are loving it. They they they're they some of them never even heard of an arcade. So I did. Yep. <laughs> little quarter jeans that you go to happy joe's and put your quarter in you get to play the game for a little that's kind of what it's going to be like yeah so. oh that yeah. sounds like an awesome yeah i do have a blast doing that one man yeah there's so many so many different ways you can think of how to make that right, my yeah. goodness oh yeah okay so let's get to our last one that we've got here so tell me um what was your favorite field day activity this could be something you made or something that you participated in uh, while growing up so field day for me growing up 
I actually teach at the stu- school I went to, which is awesome. okay. Um, and when I started, the teacher that was there before me was my my PE teacher growing up. So he left literally everything behind, mm-hmm. and I found just the packets he had of the old field day and what it was. And um, I honestly don't have great memories of field day. Right. I, it's about like me, man. It wasn't something that I remember growing up. Yeah. And, um, looking at the plans, like it was a lot of standing around. Right. A lot of running and a lot of more like a, what do you think when you think field day, like handoffs and um, tug of war. I'll go work stuff like, yeah stuff yeah. like that you would think and I used that the first year I kind of used a lot of that what he did and um what I realized is that's not the way I want to go about doing it so I started making my own and mm-hmm. coming up with themes with the help of yeah. others that have done it and um what ended up happening is we had some awesome field days and one of my favorite ones is like when they had to do the plunger relay where they had to put take a cup of water, pour it in the plunger, yep. around a cone and come back. Or even like um Elsa the dude in Disney theme where they had to run through Elsa's ice and try not to trip over right over the icicles and they love they love it. Like it's the the littlest <laughs> things that you can make just from a station with I you know I agree with you with, with the theme. You can take certain concepts from that theme. And put it into a station. It's the easiest thing, uh, you, you know. Simple station of putting the parachute over some cones and having some socks underneath, and they calling it Monsters Inc. That you have yeah. to call. Oh thing. yeah, that's what, yeah. The, the contamination underneath it. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, they love that. They love going in the dark and not getting socks. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this turned out bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah. <laughs> the themes that allows you to be as creative as you want. It doesn't yeah. have to be huge. It doesn't have to be small. It can be whatever you want it to be. Right. Theme. It, you can come up with a bunch of th- stations, think if they have anything it's similar, and that's your theme. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, it, it, kids love it. I honestly, oh, yeah. they haven't been enjoyed field day at this school for a long time until we started doing themes. That's good. That, that's really good to hear, man. That's awesome. So with our previous guests, I usually like to dig something out of the archives. So what I pulled out from you is basically uh, you kind of do the similar thing that I do is you create a trailer. So what I do every year is I I already have the next year's already planned. So, you know, instead of students asking me over and over what's going to happen when, you know, September comes or, or like, you know, September throughout the whole year. I usually kind of give them a tease. So I'm going to show you this and you let me know if you are able to uh, see this and if you can hear it okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. remember doing that and you remember I'm, doing that? I'm gonna say I'm not very good with video editing um still something I'm trying to practice and get better at but 
I've seen your incredible trailers and you do a great <laughs> job. I usually I get my family to help me do it. They volunteer. So, well, I say volunteer, but I make them do it. So yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, the trailer thing. I it, it I think I thought of that. Oh, it was a couple of years back, and it was it was with our Lego theme, and I had a video of like it was like a comet flying outer space for two minutes, and then at the very end it like hit the ground, and then I cut a part of the Lego movie where it showed Emmett going down. So yeah. where am I? And I mean, that was just a buzz. I mean, they, 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 even though that was probably the most boring two minutes of watching that happen, but it, it gave them an idea of what was to come for yeah. the next year. But yes, the trailer thing, I know me and you are kind of on the same page with, and it, it, it does wonders. So, yeah. yeah. So, like you said, it, they are after the field days, no matter how fun it was, they're looking forward to what's next. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. 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 If you, if you set that, that mark, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Jared, man, I really appreciate you coming on tonight and doing this. Um, can you leave maybe some contact info for our viewers if they want to get a hold of you about some things? Yeah, I will. I will do that. Um, you can follow me at Twitter uh, at Jefferson Fizzed. Um, it's a very new Twitter account. Mine got hacked, unfortunately. So um, that's where you can reach me at Twitter. Um, my email is Jared, J-A-R-R-Y-D dot Prince at csdkq.org those are the two best ways to reach me if you have any questions or um are even tempted to do a theme and aren't quite sure um i'm always willing to help in whatever way i can and i have plenty of themes that i can show you examples and um even if you don't want a theme i can show you how i do i've done field days in the past but there's plenty of resources out there plenty of help so don't be afraid to reach out if it's me if it's true um, you can make field day awesome for your kids and even outside of just the event, the build up to it and the build up for the next year is just as fun. So um, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm here to help. All right. Thanks, Jared, man. I really appreciate you being on tonight. No problem. Thanks for having me. I, I'm honored to be here. Thank you. All right. So you heard it, folks. Jared, it will help you with anything you're needing if you want to set up a theme at all for your students or if it's something else. So I'm Drew Burris, I'm your host for Field Day Fun. And just remember, no matter how you do it for Field Day, just make sure to have fun. We'll see you next week with another episode. Take care.